we're going to take a look at finding missing angles. Um, if you have a basic idea of supplementary angles and triangle properties, you'll be fine. But let's do a, a quick review there. You'll have to remember that any time that you add up all the angles in the triangle, it always, always adds up to be 180 degrees. So um, 45 plus 45 plus the third angle here, 90, would make that 180. So that triangle works. That's the right triangle. What about if it's the right triangle but the none of the angles are the same, like the 60-degree angle plus the 30-degree angle and uh, the last 90-degree angle, well, hey, it still equals 180. Um, the other good thing is is that it, it's not relied upon just right triangles, not like Pythagorean theorem has to be a right triangle. It's any type of triangle. So, you know, 60 plus 60 plus 60 equals 180. So if you can remember the fact that all the angles in a triangle always add up to be 180 degrees, you'll be okay. And so when we talk about having a missing angle here, um, this is more grade school stuff here. You know, you take a look at your three angles, the 35, the 125, and then, of course, you have the last angle. And this one, it's missing. It's X. But you know that all three angles should add up to be 180 degrees. So uh, from here, you know, you combine, like, terms. 35 plus 125 is 160. And so you can replace those, you know, with a 160. And then uh, you can go and subtract the 160 from both sides of that equation, and you know instantly that x equals 20 degrees. Okay, so um, that's the the basic idea that we're going to be using, but we're going to try to uh, complicate it just a little bit. So let's take a, a look at this one right here, and um, you know we we want to find the x and the y. And these two are definitely within the triangle, um, but we only have one angle here. So if, if we had two of the angles, like we had back here, you know, where we had 35 and 125, if we had these two angles, then we could go find the third one. So what's the easiest way? Well, we start looking at other relationships here. And when you look at this Y angle right here, you'll notice that it's sitting on a straight line. And uh, as a result, that means that it would be supplementary between 105 and Y. So, you know, 180 degrees is what these two are together in of themselves because they're on that straight line. And, and you just subtract the one angle that's given, and you can find the missing angle. So this one is 75 degrees also. And now that you have these two angles, hey, now we have that nice triangle setup of three different angles um, where we know two of them. So we come up with the idea of 75 plus 75 plus x equals 180 degrees. Add up these two to combine like terms, and that would be 150 degrees. And now we can subtract 150 from each side. So there you have it. This angle right here would be 30 degrees for x. Y would be 75 degrees. very last one that we're going to take a look at here is that we want to go find all the angles for this triangle, and we don't have a single angle given to us. Instead, we have just a, a uh, algebraic expression that represents the three angles there, right? Each one has a different algebraic expression. Um, so let's stop and think. We, we know that all three of them should add up to be 180. So if I took um, the, the first angle here, 100 minus 5x, and then I add that to, let's just go to the, the second angle here. I'll put this one in red again. 30 plus 10x. And then I add that one to the last angle right here, the third angle, the 5x. We know that if we knew the measure of all three angles, that it would indeed add up to be 180 degrees. So now we just have an algebraic um, equation that we need to solve. And uh, let me just go through, and, and um, I'll use blue right here to help us see what can we can combine with 100. Well, I see it has plus 30, and the problem that I have with all the, the others is, is that the other terms have an X on there, right? So we'll put the ones with an X term on there in yellow. So we need to go and combine uh, like terms, and 100 plus 30 is 130, so these two are now gone. And now we can say, hey, what's negative 5x 
plus 5x. Well, these two together would make, make it be uh, positive 5x. And what's this 5x going to do with this 5x? 5x plus 5x is positive 10x. So I'll put plus 10x here. So now we've combined all the terms that we can together. And we'll pull down the equal 180 right here. And now we have a two-step equation we can solve. Now, it's at this point, it depends on what the question is asking. If it said uh, solve for x, then all we'd have to do is uh, write up there what x was. You know, we came through here and we found out that x equals 5. However, if the directions were different, instead of solving for x, they said, would you please solve for the missing angles? That means what is the angle? Um, that's when we can take a look up here and see um, what it would be once we plug in x is 5. We went through there and we solved that this x right here is 5. So 5 times 5 would make it 25. So 100 minus 25 makes this angle, let me just erase all this, 75 degrees. And then we come down here to this one. Hey, this x is a 5, so 5 times 5, that makes this angle 25 degrees. And you know, let's go ahead and plug this in right here. X times 10, that would make this part right here 50. And 30 plus 50 is 80. So let me just kind of clear this out and make this 80 degrees. So if it says solve for the missing angles, you need to go find out what the angles are. If it's just for X, then you're done as soon as you find out what X is. Um, hopefully that gives you a little bit of a, an understanding of how to handle these problems with the um, basically triangles and the idea that all angles add up to, to 180, but it's got a little bit of an algebra spin on it. Um, but hey, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get you ready for Algebra 1 next year.